This is a demonstration of Neurooptimal Professional 2.0 and is intended for people already familiar with the previous version. Neurooptimal Professional version 2.0 is the last piece of the puzzle that we at Zengar have envisioned for our professional system. With the main new component being what we call AutoNav, it has rendered what, based on results, people may think should be a very complicated system, the simplest brain training device of its caliber on the market today. You are likely watching this video because you have either just had the upgrade performed on your system or you are thinking about installing it on your system and wish to see what the new software will look like. Let's concentrate on the trainer screen for now. The most obvious change you will see is the interface. Many of the extra features and buttons that are not needed during a default session are now hidden. Don't worry though, you can find them right along here by clicking on these black buttons. Depending on whether you are in baseline or training mode, certain features will or will not pop up. To see which features are attached to which black buttons, simply hover over them. To switch a feature off, click on the same button that you clicked on to turn it on. Another feature is the control buttons. We have simplified them by only showing record, play, stop, and quick record. You will also notice the very prominent baseline, analysis, and training buttons. These are the main buttons that you will use while running through a session with your client. For the purpose of this demonstration, I do not have a client hooked up. My sensors are dangling, so the data that you will be looking at will be very jumbled. However, I will take you through the keystrokes that you need to perform in order to run a session. So once your client is hooked up, click on baseline. You'll notice that the baseline button will turn gray and that baseline.wav will be loaded in the ZMedia window. Run your baseline. I will run a very short 10 second baseline for this demonstration. And save it. Then click on the analysis button. This will analyze the data and bring you straight to the spectrogram screen. When ready for your CCACs, simply click on the generate CCAC button and you can look at it here. To back up to the previous screen, click on the same Zengar button that you needed to click on in previous versions. When ready to train, click on Training. This button is the equivalent of the OneNote button found in version 1.98. It will load up a regular session, as in regular session timings, as well as the Zengar default regular music. To run a session with different timings, you would click on Training and then go to Session and select your session from here. Each session has different timings that are invoked and they all load up with the Zengar regular music. The only different session would be the extended session, which loads up with the Zengar extended music. You may notice that the timings in version 2.0 are a little bit different than the timings were in version 1.98. This is a good observation and the correct behavior. Should you wish to set your own timings, click on Session, Set timings and go from there, just like in previous versions. Should you wish to run using something other than the default Zengar music, you go to the Z Media window and use the Media drop down menu and make your selection from there. For this demonstration, I will run a regular training session. Please remember that for every new session you wish to run, whether it be a baseline or a training, 
you need to invoke a new session by clicking on either the baseline or the training button. This is very important. So in between every client, this needs to be done, as well as if for some reason you start a baseline or a session and then stop it and need to start a new one, you would need to click on either the baseline or training button depending on what you it is that you're trying to do. So once you have this uh, the session set up, click on record. The music will begin. AutoNav comes on by default and your client is now enjoying a session and you do not need to manipulate the difficulty button. One feature that has been hidden by default when in AutoNav is the Z-Orbs. Should you wish to see the Z-Orbs, simply click on this black button when in Spectra View, or on this black button if in Helix. To make the Z-Orbs disappear, simply click on the same black button. Should you wish to turn off AutoNav for any reason, you can do so by clicking on the bottom black button found over here. Do be sure about your decision though, as you will not be able to turn AutoNav back on until you invoke a new training session by clicking on the training button. If you do decide to disable AutoNav, you click on the button, you will see that the Z-Orbs will reappear and that the difficulty box appears. You simply manipulate the difficulty level as you did in previous versions by using the up and down arrows. Now let's take a look at the Z Media window. So the Z Media window in version 2.0 looks fairly similar to the one in our last version. The main changes here are the shuffle and repeat buttons, which replace the previous random and loop. Shuffle is the same as the prior random in that it will randomly play songs on the list displayed in the Z Media window. The repeat button repeats the actual song that is selected. An important change to note is that once the end of the CD or playlist is reached, the session will automatically stop. It is important for you to make sure that the media you have selected is long enough to cover the entire length of the session if you do not wish for this to happen. Should you begin a session and notice that the media length is shorter than the session you have selected, which you can see by looking at this window, simply invoke the shuffle button and the playlist will play, although in a shuffled order, until the end of the session. This new small button here invokes full screen mode. Clicking on it will put your client monitor into full screen mode, which means no more white edges. Now, let's take a quick look at the ZView window. One very exciting thing that we've noticed during our test rounds on newer Windows 7 systems is that CDs and DVDs are much more responsive. So while this may vary depending on how old your system is, we do encourage you to experiment with store-bought CDs and DVDs. Another exciting change is the ability to queue up music or a DVD once it has begun playing. You'll notice that the menu at the bottom of the ZView screen resembles one of a YouTube video. Once you have begun a session and you are past all the previews and main menu, you can actually queue up the movie to where your client last left off by clicking on this bar. This bar can also be used during any song, as I just did here. At the end of the session, you may want to do a post baseline. 
Should this be something you'd like to do, you would simply click on Baseline, record it, and save it. And then use the Analysis button to do any analysis that you would like to do. We hope that you enjoy this version of Neurooptimal as much as we have enjoyed making it. For the next while, we will have a forum on PASS dedicated to questions about version 2.0. We encourage you to post any questions you have there so others can also see and learn from them.